No, the custom chief, so he's just... Because he knows the corporeal contents of this bag. Worth its weight in gold. Just like Homer was 80 years ago. When those three scruffy Uzbek bandits, yeah, kidnapped him on the bank of the Oxus River and delivered him to uh, Khan the Toothless the Third. They got paid his weight in gold. Right? Well, he was alive at that time. And, uh, yeah, Shah Zaman, he's yearned for justice, a golden opportunity his whole life. And, uh, you know, he don't want no, uh, like, pathetic... Uh, honorary award, some goddamn frame certificate of excellence. That, that bureaucratic crap? I mean, there's no, there's no cash profit. And dumb king worship. Y'all know. Jezebel, he wants the whole crown for himself. Yeah, because he is aware. Look, this is Afghanistan. Any saintly relics, the market's always overheated. Give me a fingernail, give me an eyelash, okay? And I'll give you a hookah and a half kilo of the good stuff. Yeah, uh, here, well, here comes Fix. Uh, being let in in handcuffs. Yeah, he's charged. Opium smuggling. Mm hmm. Well, Fix, uh, he notices. Uh, Diplomatic seal, mm -hmm. been tampered with, and he explains, uh, hey, I'm an attaché for the Egyptian embassy. I have absolute diplomatic immunity. Take these handcuffs off now. And look, Shazaman, you're about to create an international incident that is so beyond your depth. Your career... Finished forever. Well, uh, these two uh, <laughs> guys, uh, they negotiate. I mean, it's the Middle East. Let's make a deal. Well, it goes on. <sighs> Back and forth. Half an hour? Well, um... You know that getaway driver with the motor running? He's been waiting a long time, you know, for Sphinx to clear customs. And, well, apparently he hasn't been trained in Cairo because the getaway truck runs out of gas. Yeah. Well, Mir Savaz, he's off. And uh, he's got to find some gas. Huh? He takes a petrol can and he just disappears. Uh, oh, here he comes back. Phew, you're all right. Uh, yeah, he's got enough petrol to get at least to the first gas station. And uh, at which precise moment, the wily Egyptian clears custom. Oh, yeah, and he's got the body bag with him. So, uh, Sphinx and Amir Sarfez, yeah, they slide the body bag. Oh, well, they hide it in sacks of uh, wheat in the uh, back of the lorry. And off they go. Let's get out of here now. Ooh. Uh, you might want to sit down. This is stomach journey. Yeah. Um, uh, to beat the smuggling charge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Clear customs at Kabul airport. Cost Sphinx. An arm and a leg. Well, then they just get like 40 miles north of Kabul and... Oh, Wakani bandits, they thrown up a, a road barricade at the junction where that turnoff road is to Pashir Valley. Oh, treacherous valley. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, and that costs Sphinx the remaining leg and the turquoise Tashkent underpants. Well, uh, 
And unfortunately, this uh, lorry, disguised as a United Nations famine relief truck, it's going through the Salong Tunnel. And when they come out the other side, the Shai's people are hungry over there. And they're attacking any vehicle, cars, trucks, buses, anything. You don't have a government escort? Deal with this. Yeah. I mean, Fink's is like, uh, he's just barely finished tourniqueting the, uh, you know, the second leg removal. Imagine what a mess that's making in the back of the truck. Blood, body fluids, pollution all over wheat. Don't eat that later. Ooh. Okay. You got the trunk, you got the torso, and you got one arm. Well, fortunately, it's the renowned white right arm that Omar bit himself 5,417 times when he went into Samadhi at a uh, trance attack and thrashed in the gooseberry, mushberry, thrashing dust. Sheer ecstasy. Mm. Well, they're waylaid a second time. Tajik horsemen, outskirts of Kaum, 